Ah, kia ora te whanau, kia ora rua hau, back once again with this week's uh, module learning, module 7, into the 7th week of our 10 week uh, course in e-commerce, thanks to the good people at Kaha Hau i te ao, or the bigger brother or the tall kana, te whare hoka hoka. So yep, um, big shouts going out to the whanau that are on this course as well, around 200 of us, I'm not too sure how many of the survivors are, are still going, um, but yeah, kia kahatia all the whanau in here because it ain't easy. It ain't easy, I'll tell you that much. We're at the um, the seventh week and it's crunch time basically. Uh, we've got all our products sorted, we've got what we're going to um, uh, put forward to the market, the target market, uh, the psychology behind all our advertising, uh, all of that effort has gone into the last seven weeks. It has been a roller coaster ride of emotions, I'll tell you that much, uh, but all good ones uh, because of the first week, the first two weeks, the reflection was a growth mindset. And that growth mindset uh, has, you've had to have a growth mindset throughout this whole course basically, in order to accept that you don't know much and you have to find out lots. <laughs> so if you're gonna survive, research, research, read, read, and uh, plenty of late nights. Either way, we'll dive into the study. Uh, this is uh, basically setting up the one page store on Shopify. So we've been given a account for six months and we had a choice between three accounts, which is your basic one, a seven hacker, 17 hacker, uh, or we had a middle ground standard kind of all you need for your business to grow uh, that was around about 70 US or we had the option of stepping up to a 300 a month uh, US uh, so I jumped on that puppy so you get all the back end Google Analytics uh, combined with the Shopify um, detailing of uh, all the back end uh, how would you say Specifics, yeah. So I went into Geekville Vano, and you kind of do have to geek out. Uh, you know, respects to the geeks there. There's no. It's cool to be a geek, uh, and just reading and researching and following YouTube clips and um, going to Google University and going to YouTube um, diplomas and oh man, geez, you just have to study a lot. Uh, there's plenty of re rewinding videos and playing and going. A. Eh? So anyway, I'll get down to the nitty gritty. Google Analytics. So if you're going to sell something, you've got to tell people what you're selling and how much it costs, and you've got to figure out what's the best way to move forward uh, with your product and your, your marketing, basically. So with Google Analytics, we've been given a God code, basically, of how to do that. And we're very, very fortunate to have it stepped out, um, yep, step at a time. And to be honest, Fino, all of this information is available for you online in the YouTube links. All you have to do is say to Auntie YouTube, how do I, and then type in what you need. Um, there's not much on our program or our system that hasn't, that isn't available freely on YouTube or Apple Google or any of those um, channels. So I was really uh, real interested to see how the Google Analytics, um, one, you'd set it up, and two, how, how, how does it all work? Without getting too deep into it, um, because there's a lot of uh, click here, click there, click over here, and to be honest, I can't actually tell you how to do it again. I'm gonna to have to do it all over again myself. Um, thanks to our, our good tutors, basically, uh, we've been able to, like I said, follow the cookie crumbs to the cupcake. Uh, so Google Analytics, we have to set that up in the back end of our Shopify account and link it so that all the purchases that go through our Shopify account can be tracked and beautiful information can be collected and correlated so that we can utilize that information for um, making future decisions on if our advertising campaign was successful or not. Uh, then we had to create this thing called a Facebook Pixel. Now, if you don't know what a Facebook Pixel is, neither do I. So basically, it's a small piece of code which is installed to your uh, Shopify account, connected to your Facebook, so that you can track data from your Facebook, um, from your customers or people that visit your page, your business page. You can track um, information like um, how many conversions have gone through. Um, you can build curated audiences. Uh, you can remarket to people that have visited your page or have engaged with you uh, so that you can specify your targets and you can make really powerful decisions uh, on these details from this Facebook pixel. So it's a, a, a cookie. Speaking of crumbs, so when somebody um, logs into your page or visits your web, uh, your your store, you can you can easily track the connection between Facebook and Shopify. The two are married up together, and there's so many um, details within how to do it. There's got to be at least a hundred steps within this this process here. So again, Fano online YouTube, you can source that information. I'll actually put the links down. 
um the power of this course reflecting on it is getting the information that is filtered throughout all the information and being put into a code which we can follow step by step so the sequences that we are following are amazing cool so moving along google analytics creating the facebook pixel which i've explained earlier then we get to add our products uh to our shopify store i actually went ahead and did everything reverse so i reverse engineered it i'd like to say but and actually i just kind of fumbled my way through the shopify uh but you get to learn though you get to learn that's the way to do it you gotta jump in there and uh, i've set something up similar i've designed a website so i figured oh yeah but it's actually a lot easier if you follow the sequence so yeah going back to the sequence um adding your products you can um amalgamate your products in a way which you can uh, say if you want a seasonal collection of products or if you want um, color or material uh, so you can basically categorize your, your collection so they're not all over the place it just makes it more efficient and it looks great so yeah the facebook uh, the shopify accounts are really awesome as well they come with uh, a few free designs templates which you can add and mix and match uh, as you move along so it's actually quite uh, user friendly uh so moving along we're on to the setting up shipping options, which is very, very important for the customers at the end result. When they push buy now, you want to make sure that they understand how they're going to receive the goods and where the goods are going uh, to come from. If you're drop shipping, are they going to come from another store? And is that going to be um, two, three, four, five, six, seven days? You know, what's the expectations? And you have to ensure that those shipping um, expectations are in your policies, which from our previous uh, setting up our uh, one page store part two, we had our details of all our policies so yeah that was a brain teaser as well finally there's a lot of brain teasers in here but it's good so we're at the end of that that's my core all module seven this is uh, week eight coming into week eight and um yeah it's going well pumping finance so wherever you are in the world i hope you're well and uh, stay safe and be good to each other and spread that love and positivity car